York City DA Bragg downgrades 52% felonies to misdemeanors. Now, I mean, there's no way someone is this incompetent. You know what's going to happen when you turn these felonies into uh, in, in, into uh, misdemeanors. You know, he's intentionally trying to destroy New York. And uh, they need to get, these large cities need to get rid of these DAs like Bragg and these George Soros DAs because the crime is going to get a lot worse before it get any better. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Now when you hit that alarm bell, you press it again, you can change it from personal to all. That way you get all notifications from when I'm putting out stuff. Also check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram where I put out even more news. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. New York City's district attorney downgraded 52% of all felony cases so far in 2022 to misdemeanors, compared to 39% downgraded in 2019, according to data posted uh, on the, the DA's website. In 2021, District Attorney Alvin Bragg ran on a campaign in favor of criminal justice reform, promising to uphold changes to the law that allows cash bail for violent crimes. It's just crazy. Why would you let people out that's locked up for violent stuff? Why would you just let them off on the street to commit even more violent crime? That's It doesn't make any logical sense. But Bragg won his campaign and it took office on January 1. And just days later, he released a day one memo to staff directing them to downgrade certain felonies, including armed robberies of commercial businesses and uh, to no longer seek jail time for many serious offenses. So imagine you working at a you working at a um, at a store and someone comes and run up on you and, and robs you at the store. You can literally run into that same person the next day because of, because of this guy and his policies. The George Soros types that want to destroy these cities. That's what they. That's why they want the criminals on the street. I mean, what other logical conclusion you can come to, other than that? But um, New York Police Department Commissioner Keechan Saw um, Sawwell at the time wrote in a leaked email that Bragg's policies could endanger the public and undermine justice for victims. The NYPD's latest crime statistic reports show that overall crime are up 27.6 percent with 112,755 reported so far in 2022 compared to 88,394 reported uh, during the same period in 2021 and mind you we still have a, a whole nother month uh, uh, to go um, during the same period there was a reported 13.2% increase in felony assaults with the jump from 20,563 to 23,270 this year. Rapes increased from 1,336 to 1,471. Robberies from 12,033 to 15,639. And transit crimes from 1,316 to 1,865. Murders in the Big Apple are down from 432 to 372, which is good. That's a good thing. Um, and shootings are down 1,688 to 1,438, which is a, is a big plus. Uh, I have to admit that that's, that's a good thing. Those are good things there. But Bragg, according to data, on his website and his department declined to prosecute 35% more felony cases than in 2019, factoring in the court system's delays in prosecuting uh, cases from 2020 to 2022. The DA's report also shows bail was requested for 2,518 felony cases so far in 2022 compared to 3,848 in 2019. So again, you know, um, overall crime is up. Um, you have a great chance of being robbed in New York right now because a lot of these criminals don't care because they know they can be out 
the very next day, which makes no sense to me. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh, say, say, oh, say, oh, say, say, oh, say, say, oh.